I've spent a lot of time at the hospital. I've walked the halls in the middle of the nights and I've been there all hours and I've seen with my own eyes the difference it makes in other families' lives. I know what it's done for my family and my daughter, but I've seen changed lives walking through those halls. It's an iconic institution that has always done business humbly and with gratitude for its support. But it's, you know, watching the pure practice of medicine that they employ at the hospital and to see the love and to see the buy-in that a doctor has for treating his kids, you don't see that anywhere else. And it, we're, we're very blessed as a city to have Scottish Rite Hospital. There's something new about it every time I go. Um, and it's just, you know, what they do. You know, it's just a perfect example was, was when Pat Green came and played. And you had those four kids sitting there. And, you know, I mean, they, three of the four wouldn't have the ability to do what they were doing had they not gone there. So it's just, it's just an amazing place. It's amazing. Great things are being done there. And, and we realize that it's like worldwide implications for um, a lot of these things that are being treated. You know, it's cutting edge research. Seeds are planted and things are started here that could make uh, differences for kids all over the world. It's a joy to introduce people to the hospital. It's a joy to meet people that have been at the event for the first time. And, and it, the, the commonality is, I had no idea. The one thing that always pops to my mind is the first event, because we know if anybody's gonna show up. <laughs> You know, we just collected things to, uh, to sell in the auction from people that we were cleaning out our attics and, and garages and whatever we could give up. Uh, uh, so, you know, the first one was pretty humble. I forgot how much we made that first year, but we thought it was a whole lot. When you have the staff of the hospital, I mean, to, to have them show up and then to come back the second year and you're like going, okay, maybe just one more. And hey, you wake up 20 years later and uh, we're, we're humbled. It's just, it's mind-boggling what people will give and the gener I mean their generosity. Yeah. And we have a lot of friends that have never been involved and we're so happy that they're coming and that they are introduced to Scottish Rite. I think the, the neatest thing is the painting. To sit there and, and one, have Christopher Martin donate his time and talent. To see the kids and Nicole um, participate means a lot to us, but I think Christopher Martin has just been a great asset to Treasure Street. Every year we just pinch ourselves because we can't believe it's gotten so big and, and done so well. It was so nice of uh, Kathy and Harlan Crow to, you know, come up with the idea to move it across the street from Scottish Rite and, you know, what Harlan has, has built there. I mean, it's a true landmark for the city of Dallas. And the timing was perfect. Brian and Leslie are a perfect fit for the 20th anniversary. They have been with us and around us and friends of ours for over 20 years. And they're so well respected. And they were just a perfect fit. Hope's eternal. You know, you, you look back at what they've accomplished, talking about tuberous sclerosis, what they've accomplished in the last 20 years, and what they can accomplish now in the next 20. So there's always hope, there's always hope.